Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chidi and I'm at my house. If you haven't yet watched my video of buying my investment property, go and watch that. We'll leave that in the cards. But I'm at the house and that's why it's so equity right now. It's now Sunday the 6th of June. I wanted to give you a bit of an update about where we are with the renovation. Bill has been here for the last three days and he's basically stripped out everything from all of the main bedrooms. So from the two bedrooms on the first floor, the office or what will be my office and then the loft conversion as well. So I'm going to take you around and show you where we are with the house right now. Right eye, the sitting room and the lounge area is complete carnage. So what he was trying to do was essentially put all of the rubbish that we're going to have for the, the first phase in one place and then he will organise a skip to come through but the issue is, and I know that a lot of people have a very similar situation where they'll get a skip and have their skip there and then everybody and their mum will look to, you know, put their rubbish in that skip. And so it fills up a lot quicker and you just want to make sure that everything is all done as you need it to be done for your house. So all of the rubbish and everything is there right now. It will get moved at some point, but until we get to a point where you know, it's overflowing, um, we'll just leave it here and then get a skip at the very end. My sister and I have actually just been looking at the different paint samples we're going to have in the hallway and the stairs and the landing and then also in the bedrooms as well. So we're going to have some panelling in the rooms. So I quite like this colour as the bottom panel colour and I'll leave like a picture of what I'm thinking of in terms of the colour. And then I quite like this for the hallways and the stairs and then also like, was it this colour? Maybe this colour or that colour for the main base of the bedrooms, but we'll let you know exactly what we pick. So I'm now in the entrance to my house, so I'll just show you exactly what has happened with the stairs and everything and what they've done in the hallway and then also in the run up to the first floor. So as you can see, they've completely stripped out all the carpets. Um, that's all gone. There is a stair up there that will need to be reinforced. And so we'll get the builders to sort that out. Just for your reference, we are actually going to repaint the banisters. So the intention is to sand that completely down. And he started to do that at the very top of the house. So um, to completely redo the banisters and then paint that a more like a matte white. Because I just didn't really enjoy the kind of gloss, gloss, gloss that they all had previously. It's taking you up the stairs. It's like across all of the walls, like pieces of paper um which essentially had the paint samples on them so really embarrassingly actually so got a couple of paint samples from fire and ball and they said basically that you shouldn't put the paint samples on the wall what you should do instead is put the paint samples on paper and then stick them to the wall so i was like okay cool so i went around the house all the various different places that i'm looking to update in phase one this one by the way is just the stairs the landing and then the three bedrooms so then i was just like okay cool let me start like painting the paint samples to work out what i wanted and so then my sister came through today and she was like why don't you just paint everything in one go and then go around the house sticking rather than like going up and down 10 times in each of the different bedrooms and each of the different floors to paint a sample Oh. So we did that, which is what you saw in the sitting room just now. And you'll see this, and this is really funny. So I was just like, oh, okay, cool. This is the name of the paint sample. Estate Emulsion is like the paint. It's not the colour. I literally was just like, oh, that was the colour, but it's not. They've got various different, like number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay, so this is the master bedroom, and it has also had everything completely removed, apart from the wardrobe. So they've removed the carpet, the wallpaper, there used to be a textured ceiling on here, so that has now also been removed. I had originally planned to remove them. I feel they make the room seem a lot smaller than it actually is. And so I like put on my home Instagram, and if you're not following that, feel free to follow. It's at home of Chidster. So I put on my Insta whether or not I should keep these wardrobes, and everyone was like, yeah, definitely keep them, just upcycle them. And I was like, okay, cool. This was what I wanted. To have the TV in the middle, a shelf on top, a tabletop, and then some drawers. And that will be inside the wardrobe. So the idea was that these two doors would be moved to that side. So we have these two doors that open up like that. And then we would remove that part, then move this section over to that side. However, the issue that we have here is that the finish of the doors is like a really weird filmy plastic it's quite glossy so the builder was like it's going to be really difficult to sand that down and then the paint won't soak in like it would with like normal wood or whatever it will just like sit on top of it so it wouldn't look as nice as i anticipated so he was like you can source where the doors can come from or you can just go to an ikea and find what it is that you want 
And I was like, well, this is kind of a bit of a waste of time. I didn't really want the wardrobes anyway. And so if they're going to be like difficult, then whatever, I'll just get rid of them. And then it will mean, so as you come into the room, the bed will be here. There will be two bedside tables. Then you'd have a mirror on this side and a mirror on that side to reflect and make it look bigger. So this is the room that you originally saw me in. So you can see it used to be all wallpaper on the walls here. And then obviously there was curtains here, but they've been taken off. Then this wall will need to be plastered because that was where the wardrobe was. And you can kind of see the outline at the top here. And the same here, there was just wallpaper that my brother helpfully took off for me. The builder has also taken off the skirting boards. So I'll need to pick up some skirting boards for the room. And what was quite interesting actually, so I hadn't realized that these pipes, this is all of the radiators for the house. This pipe, I think is a dead pipe so the builder's going to take that one out he's taken some of the pipes already out as you can see and so those will just go away these are dead wirings so that will also be taken and the intention is to just box these pipes and then plaster that wall and the idea for this room is for the telly to go here the bed to go here and then perhaps maybe like a, a wardrobe or something to go in this area here i want like a quite big mirror on that wall so it can bounce off even more light um, i'm not too sure what i'll do there maybe another wardrobe i'm not too sure and then this room this beautiful room will be my office so this room does need to be plastered you can tell that the wall is a little bit less smooth in comparison to the other rooms we removed the carpets and the wallpaper, but he made it look like this. So the intention is to have an L-shaped table. The current table at home is very small, very tight. Things get knocked over so easy. I can't put my phone, my two screens, my like mugs, my water and all that kind of stuff without like dropping everything and anything. So I need to make sure that I have enough space here. And then the intention is on this side to have like a mirror just to reflect some more light in. And then I'm not sure if I'll have some sort of like accent wall here. So I'm gonna work out what makes the most sense, but I actually quite liked one of the colors downstairs. So I might just have that as the color, which should be quite nice. That's basically where we've got to in like the first couple of days of the renovation. It's only been three days. I am coming again tomorrow morning, just he has a couple of things that he wants to check in with me and then we'll make a decision as to what we'll do next. There have been whole that have been cut out for the spotlights which is really cool so it will bring in a lot more light into the rooms hey everyone so i am at the house again today we actually put up the paint samples you can kind of see back that way in terms of process right now what i need to do is work out what color i want for the rooms what color i want for the ceilings woodwork and then in the master bedroom i want to do some paneling so there needs to be a contrast between the top color and the bottom color and so that will run across the bottom part of the wall and so i just need to work out what those two colors will be so one thing that's a little bit annoying in the office area so when it is that they did the loft conversion what they did was they didn't take away i think it's like a roof trash or something i'm not exactly sure what it was um, but instead what they decided to do was that they were going to strengthen the flooring in the loft by just putting quite a lot of joists down which then means that as you want to like penetrate and get spaces in for the spotlights you actually are like hitting quite a lot of the joists so I had originally bought down lights to be put in but they're quite thick and they're quite heavy which means that you can't actually get the lights in in place this is what I'm talking about there are like joists in that part there and then also in that part so these are the down lights um that i've got and because they're quite big they're quite big which then means that you actually need a lot more space to put them in let's basically have to get one that doesn't have as big of a base so this black thing is a bit smaller these are the pipes sorry that have been boarded up he did a really great job the pipes were actually here and so he's moved the pipes that way so that it doesn't cut into the room any more than it needs to this bit will also be plastered up. He's also removed those dead wires that were there previously. Then we have these spotlights. As I was talking about, ordinarily what you would do is have the wires come in through here and then you would just do a loop around for all the various different six spotlights and then end it back here. But because the joists were in the way, you weren't able to do that. And so essentially you had to cut into the ceilings and basically feed it in here, feed it in there, feed it in here and basically move around the joist so that you could get those spotlights in. And then the same thing here, 
So here is a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Basically, he's had to do like various different spotlights so that he could actually feed in all the wires and stuff. So it looks a bit convoluted and messy, but I know that it will come together. So yeah, that's basically the update for today. I am gonna go home now. The builder's gonna come in. He's gonna take away the wardrobe in the master bedroom. But yeah, no, I'm really excited.